Hi, it's Yule here, Certified Holistic Nutritionist at Rossum Healthy. Our beautiful daughter Eleni has turned three years old and today we're going to take you through her day, through what she eats and what she does during the day. It's very windy here, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so we're packing to go to a museum and I've chopped two apples which are peeled for Eleni. These are organic apples and Eleni really likes apples, so it's a really easy snack. And here I've got a banana and chia seed smoothie, just blended with some water. We didn't have time to soak the greens and wash the greens, so we'll have those later. And that's it. So we're ready. We're ready, to Eleni, to go. Ellie, we're ready to go. Snacks come handy, come in handy. Yeah, from the way you the way. There she is. So we are at Rasayana, which is a beautiful restaurant in Pattaya, and we are starting from some smoothies. Beautiful smoothies. So we've got mango and passion fruit here. That's another mango passion fruit, and that's mango and... Pineapple. Pineapple. Can't wait to eat them. I'm really hungry. What are we eating now, Eleni? We've got some raw apple cookies, haven't we? Yes, so we've got this beautiful apple, raw apple cookies from... as a gift from Rasayana, because we come here pretty often. Quite often, not every day. So there we'll be given and the ingredients are apple, almond, vanilla, cinnamon, Raisin and cinnamon, so they must be delicious. I'll try some later. Ellen, you certainly love it there, but I can see why. Mm, they smell beautiful. Now, we've got some pretty amazing treats here. Oh my goodness, so this is banana carrot pie. Oh, 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 oh. And mm. Ellen is having raw vegan banana ice cream. So, this is all raw in the Rasayana restaurant and we don't really eat like this every single day at all actually we hardly no, ever feast not. on such items it's because good. we usually just eat very very simply and this is how we like it but today is a family day out so we also wanted to show you some gourmet mm. raw vegan delights that you can have and there are many very nice isn't it I wanted to take you through what our daughter eats in a day typically here in the tropics and it varies from climate to climate just to give you some ideas so if you have kids maybe you'll get some ideas from it. Now first thing in the morning she likes to generally drink some coconut water or she'll have coconut flesh and coconut flesh you can have at any time of the day she totally absolutely loves it. Not so big on avocados but coconut flesh is her favorite. And then she'll eat some apples or some mandarins, sometimes some mangoes, generally juicy fruit. After that, she'll snack on more fruit, so she tends to want to eat, so she'll just eat one type of fruit at a time, typically. And then for lunch, we'll go for bananas and some seeds. So I've got some chia seeds here that I blended in a blender so that they're easier to digest and with seeds and nuts we have to be very careful because she can eat a lot of them she asks for them all the time they're delicious to her obviously they're fatty satiating 
but if she overeats on them, she gets constipated. So do watch out for the amount of fat that your kids eat. They do need more fat, but they don't eat. They don't need to eat too much fat, especially if it comes from nuts and seeds, which are more difficult to digest. In the smoothie, though, it's perfect, and uh, she really gets on well with it. And I've also got some frozen bananas here which I add to regular smoothies and sometimes Eleni will ask me for a cold banana smoothie and of course some greens she used to be a bigger salad eater not so much now uh, she doesn't tend to eat big salads anymore but we'll just blend greens for her and she'll happily have green smoothies and then for evening you get it's more fruit so it could be apples it could be watermelon it could be just pretty much whatever fruit we've got she, she's not so keen on papayas at the moment and but that changes too and then she may have some more bananas and then again some coconut flesh or perhaps some more seeds with some perhaps cucumbers or tomatoes so basically it's really fruits and vegetables and some nuts and seeds and that's her diet since she started on solids at six months of age and she absolutely loves it and she thrives on it and I think any kid can thrive on it if you do it the right way. So just to give you some ideas on how to keep your kids healthy and feed them with lots of fruits and veggies. Alright, so we've got a fruit party for kids and what can be better than fruit for kids. Come to a party where there's lots of fruit. So we've got mandarins, we've got mangoes, we've got watermelon here, we've got pineapple, more watermelon, and a beautiful banana strudel that I made for Eleni. And what I've created for you all is a quick guide to organizing a raw vegan or vegan party. You can use it however you like but it will outline the key steps that you need to follow to throw a successful party. So if you want to get your hands on the special guide, just follow the link that you will see on the screen and you'll get instant access to it. It's great. And since the summer is coming, you know, you, know, you want to be ready for the party season. So, hope you get it.